Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and another exciting Gcam update. Now you can install the Pixel 8 version 9.1 on your older Tensor based models. And here I have it on my 7 Pro to show you all the new changes. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the visual tweaks. On the left I have version 9 and on the right I have version 9.1 of the Pixel 8. So let's take a look at the differences. First, we got this new settings button at the bottom right corner that will change its icon based on what's going on in the camera app. So for example, here I have night sight activated and that's why it shows the night sight exposure time instead of having it inside the view finder. But once night sight is deactivated, the icon looks like toggles. And the tapping on this button will give you three options, the brightness, the shadow and white balance which are exactly the same sliders we used to have inside the viewfinder before, but now everything is at the bottom and more reachable. And the best part is they don't disappear when you activate them like the previous version. So they will stay on the screen for a few seconds and then disappear. But now you can keep them on the screen all the time while taking your photos and adjust again, take another photo and so on. And you still have the same reset button, but it has a different design. But if you have night sight activated, the button will change the icon and when you tap on it, it will give you the night sight option. From here, you can choose maximum, auto or off. When you put it on maximum, it will add this plus sign on top of the icon. When you set it to auto, it will change again to a different one with the A letter. And when you turn it off, it will change into the toggles icon. The settings button at the bottom left corner will no longer change its icon to match the current camera mode. But instead, in the newer version, this will be done using the new button I just talked about. But the settings button will always use the same gear icon. And when you tap on it, you will see this redesigned settings overlay menu. It makes more sense because it slides from the bottom instead of popping on top of the viewfinder itself. So it's much more reachable and matches the design of the app. And also you can still use the same swipe up gesture to access your settings. We also got this new button at the top left corner that only appears if night sight is activated. When you tap on it, it will take you to the same photo settings you can access with a swipe or by tapping on the gear button. And when you go to action pan or long exposure, you will notice that the help button is now located at the top right corner. Now let's take a look at the video mode and here you will notice the same exact behavior. You have a button here at the bottom right corner to adjust the exposure and white balance. And if you want to access the video settings, you can do the same thing or you can use the button at the top left corner, which will also tell you the resolution you are currently on. But when you go to the blur effect, you will notice here that this button will change into a blur effect icon and it says here 75%. So it seems like with the Pixel 8, you can adjust the blur effect intensity, which is not possible here on the Pixel 7 Pro. Now let's go to the settings page to show you one more exciting change. When you go to advanced, you will see this new toggle, which is called rich color in photos. The description says use display P3 color format instead of sRGB for richer and more vibrant colors. Display P3 may not be visible before the photo is taken or supported on all platforms or apps. I tried to view my photos with and without the toggle activated and I didn't notice any difference even though I'm using Android 14. Maybe Google Photos needs to be updated for this feature to work. Another change I found in the settings page is the gestures is now called button shortcuts and it does exactly the same thing as before. Now let me show you how to download and install the APK. Just use the link in the description which will take you to APK Mirror website to the Google Camera 9.1 and then scroll down a bit until you find the download APK bundle button. Tap on this one and don't use the APK only because I tried this and my camera app crashed but you need to download the APK bundle. Once you download the bundle, make sure that you have this app installed on your phone which is called the Split APKs and open this app then locate the file by tapping on install APKs then internal file picker or the other one if you want and then go to download and you will see your package over here tap on it and then tap on select and install and you are good to go so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new changes i spotted in gcam version 9.1 and if i managed to enable the ultra hdr feature i will let you know in a follow-up video but for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video